This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Troy Roberts wants to know, we know Arn delivers the best spine buster, but is there anyone he dreaded giving it to either because of inexperience or the size of the other wrestler? And as a segue, who's the largest wrestler he's ever given one to Vader. Vader's the biggest guy. Yeah. And he was really big at the time. Uh, of course it had no effect as he ended up beating Rick and I in a handicap match. <laughs> so I think it probably just pissed him off. Yeah, I could see that. I could see that too. Uh, no, you know, believe it or not, the only time that the thing that I remember uh, the spine buster going south would be when a guy came off the ropes and his legs would be in between mine instead of wrapping himself around me, which is the key, so that I can dip under him and pick him up. If his legs are inside mine, it's impossible. And as we rotate and as I land, I'm going to do a nutter on his knees. Mm. That's happened a couple of times due to inexperienced guys. And uh, thank God it wasn't on television. Uh, if it was... I think we had them pull it out. It was just once or twice. It really were bad. Uh, I don't think it ever made TV. It could have, maybe not, but because you can't fix it. There's no way to fix that. A few weeks ago, I took a road trip with Cassio Kid and um, Silva, Dave Silva. And Cassio got tickled and started thinking how hilarious it would be. The visual of you giving a spine buster to Dave Silva but then he said, well, Arn's retired, so we'd probably need to have Dave jump off of a trampoline, get a running start or a waddle start, whatever, bounce off the trampoline. And then he started to do an Arn Anderson impression saying, if he, can if he can get up there, I can turn him. And I don't know why, but Cassio Kid's hillbilly accent trying to do an Arn Anderson, explaining that if Silva could get airborne, you could still turn him, made us laugh for about an hour. And it's 100% correct. <laughs> if Big Dave can do all of it, I'll just write him down. Tremendous. Let my family save your family some cash. You don't need perfect credit. You don't need money out of your pocket. But we will save you money. It's not a matter if. It's a matter of how much. Savewithconrad.com. Uh, here's one that uh, we've never touched on before. George McGaffin says, if Arn started wrestling as a rookie today, what things would he change and what would he keep the same? I would keep everything exactly like it was and is. My style was derived from an inability to do anything athletic. I just couldn't do a lot of stuff. I've never thrown a drop kick. Uh, I don't do the dives out to the floor. I don't do the little planches and all that high risk stuff. I just don't do it because I can't. And I'm smart enough to know I'm not going to kill myself and kill somebody else because I tried something stupid. My style, again, came from the things that I thought I could do um, athletically um, and that made sense to me and I could take care of the guy that I was in the ring with and uh, not end up crippling him because I tried something stupid. So what you see now is what you would have seen 25 years ago. Same style wrestler. JDBLM wants to know if you could change the finish of any of your matches, would you? And if so, which one and why? Uh, yeah, I would have gotten uh, counted out on the uh, Renegade match, not showing up due to lack of interest. I love that. You can hear uh, the Renegade fan club calling. Phone call somebody already raising hell at me. <laughs> Here's one from Kyle Allen. He says, when you and Tully left the NWA for WWE, 
if you had brought Ric Flair and JJ Dillon with you, do you think the WWF could have presented you guys as outsiders, much like the NWO would 10 years later? Would that storyline have worked? Probably shouldn't have brought us in as outsiders. They should have probably of just brought us in for who we were. Ladies and gentlemen, my God, you're not going to believe this, but we have procured, procured the uh, services of the four horsemen. And that would have been a red hot angle and mixed us in with those guys. Whatever combination it was. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.